Good morning, boys and girls. <clears throat> Let's do our morning calendar. I hope you're doing well today. We are in the month of April. Let's spell it together. Capital A P R I L. Yesterday was Thursday, April the 16th. Let's say the days of the week to get to find out what comes after Thursday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You're right, Friday comes after Thursday. Let's count and see what comes after 16. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. You are right. I wonder if we can figure out what color our umbrella is gonna be. Remember we talked the other day that the umbrellas are making a pattern. Yellow, red, green, purple. Yellow, red, green, purple. Yellow, red, green, purple. Yellow, red, green, purple. Did you say yellow? It's yellow. Today is Friday, April the 17th, 2020. Let's read our popcorn words. There, find, got, play, some. I thought today we would practice counting by fives. <clears throat> The last time I believe we practiced counting by tens, but today I thought we would practice counting by fives. So you count with me as we go along. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Practicing counting by tens and fives is something you can easily be doing at home. I also wrote you a morning message this morning, boys and girls. Let's see what it says. Dear girls and boys, today is Friday. The sun is out and the sky is blue. How is the weather at your house? We will read about a garden today. Do you know what a garden is? I love you, Mrs. Dobbins. Let's see if we can count the sentences. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six sentences today. Do you see any periods? Do you see a question mark? What about an exclamation point? Can you find an exclamation point in my morning message to you? Also, you can pause the video and see if you can pick out your popcorn words. Okay, so our book today is called Whose Garden Is It? The author is Mary Ann Hoberman and it's illustrated by Jane Dyer. I wonder if some of you have been working on a garden while you've been out of school. Maybe your parents or your grandparents have. Mrs. McGee went out walking one day 
And as she was cheerfully wending her way, she passed by a garden with colors so bright, she never had seen such a beautiful sight. How splendid, how pleasant, how simply exquisite. This garden is perfect. But whose garden is it? The gardener answered, It's clear as can be. This garden you see belongs only to me. I am the owner and everyone knows it. I am the person who plants it and grows it. See how I keep it in first-rate condition? No one can come here without my permission. The gardener bowed and allowed her to pass, then went back to weeding and seeding the grass. He grumbled to see that some lettuce was gone and stamped on some strange bumpy lumps in the lawn. I wonder where his lettuce went. Then Mrs. McGee heard a sharp little squeak. Up popped a rabbit who started to speak. He says it is his, but I cannot agree. If no one can come here, then what about me? I've lived my whole life here. Just see how I dine. He grows me my dinner. This garden is mine. Not so, sniffed the woodchuck from under a wall. You eat just a little but I eat it all. I gobble each bud and each leaf and each vine. I eat the whole garden. This garden is mine. It's mine, the bird twittered from high in the tree. The worms in the garden were put there for me. Not so, sighed the worm. Why, I make the soil fine, and that's why I'm put here. This garden is mine. It's mine, the wasp grumbled. I've built a fine nest here. It's mine, buzzed the honeybee. You're just a pest here. I pollinate flowers, it's easy to see. This garden would not even be without me. Or me, bragged the butterfly, begging your pardon. I too spread pollen all over this garden. It's mine, squeaked the squash bug. No, mine, whined the flea. No, mine, snapped the beetle. It's planted for me. Not so, the snake hissed from down under a pine. I feast on you, fellas. This garden is mine. It's mine, groaned the mole. It is full of my furrows. It's mine, squealed the bowl. See my bumps and my burrows. The toads and the turtles, the squirrels and the hares, the chipmunks and crickets, why they all claimed it was theirs. McGee heard a hum in her ear. Who was that calling her? What did she hear? It is mine, a plant rustled. I blossom in season. If this is a garden, then I am the reason. No, mine, a weed whistled away in the breeze. You have to be planted. I grow where I please.
It is mine, breathed the soil. That is perfectly clear. Why, nothing could grow if I were not here. It is mine, barked the tree, for I shelter and shade you. And as my leaves fall year after year, I have made you. It is mine, smiled the sun, shining down on the tree. I bring heat, I bring light. Nothing lives without me. Nothing lives without me that is perfectly plain. My showers bring flowers. It's mine, cried the rain. Then Mrs. McGee heard a faint little sound. Something was murmuring under the ground. Something that seemed as if she were quite near it. Holding her breath, she bent over to hear it. It is mine, the seed whispered, although I am small. I am the beginning, the start of it all. The others may help me, but all of them know without me to grow from, no garden would grow. The sun was now setting, the day growing late. The gardener called as she walked out the gate. Now wasn't my garden a fine place to visit? But still, she kept wondering are you still wondering, pondering, wondering? Whose garden is it? Boys and girls, did you ever imagine there would be so many living things kind of arguing over whose garden Mrs. McGee was visiting? I'd like you to think about what Miss Pinkston asked you to write about the other day. She talked to you about opinion writing. And I want you to you can go back and watch her video about opinion writing if you'd like to before you do this. But I'd like you to give your opinion about this book. Whose garden do you think it is? Who does the garden belong to? Was it the gardener? Was it the sun? Was it the tree? Was it the snake? Was it the rabbit? We saw so many things. Was it the plants or the weeds? We saw so many things. I want you to give me your opinion on who you think the garden belongs to. If you do that and want to take a picture and text it to me or send it to me by email, that would be great. Hope you have a great day.